There's a new exhibit at the Indiana Historical Society which is using technology to explore the past. It is a real experience and John Duran got a chance to go through this and showing different parts of her life. Um, I know you're downtown with a closer look at this exhibit and really how they're using Eva to tell this story. It is incredible, Julia. You can take a virtual tour of Auschwitz with Eva, which she did in person up until her passing in 2019. You could still do that. You can even, through hologram technology, ask her questions about her life, her story, or why she forgave the Nazis, even after she was experimented on during the Holocaust. You might be familiar with this mural of Eva in downtown Indianapolis, but this exhibit immerses you in her story. I find her to be just an inspiring person. So you can see that entire story here at the Indiana Historical Society from her early days as a young girl, uh, the tragedy she went through, overcoming that tragedy, dealing with personal pain and guilt, and then becoming an advocate um, for other survivors and, and trying to stop the world from committing acts of genocide and racism and misogyny and other terrible crimes. This is a holographic display and it's voice interactive, so you can ask Eva questions and she'll talk to you. So you can ask her, uh, why did she decide to forgive? Or even, even less uh, deep things like, what's your favorite color? Or when's your birthday? And she'll talk to you, respond to you, and give, her her th give you her thoughts. And it's a wonderful way to interact with someone who's unfortunately no longer here with us, but to still get a sense of her essence and her strength and her enthusiasm. That course story is incredible. Born in Romania, taken to Auschwitz by the Nazis as a child. Then after World War II, met her husband when she moved to Israel, and the two moved to Terre Haute uh, after that. But just a brief overview of her story, you get the full picture of just what a difference she made here and what an activist she was and what kind of a person she was through some incredible technology, guys.